Hello and welcome to this iNav quick tip. Now this quick tip is for a Patreon of mine, a gentleman called Chris, but Chris was asking me about it over a beer a couple of weeks ago and uh, I thought, you know what, that's probably worthwhile making a video on. Now I've already done an awful lot, lot around Lua scripts on things like the Tyrannus radio. Now Lua scripts a little bit of code. Uh, Lua is just a language like C++ or Fortran or those kind of things where you can create um, a program that does certain things. Now, Lua can run on the Tronus radios, uh, the FreeSky QX7, uh, T16, X10, Horus, whatever it is, and it can do some pretty cool stuff. Now, what you can do is you can actually get the telemetry down from the model that you're building. This just happens to be the latest iNav wing that I'm building right now. This is the Brain Dart, and so long as you're sending telemetry back down to your radio, and you can see all the sensors in your telemetry screen on the radio itself, then you can install this Lua script onto your SD card and run it and have a virtual little cockpit. Now, for some of you watching this right now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, why? And the main thing I use these Lua scripts for is for uh, before the flight or in the event of something happening with the FPV footage. Maybe the camera gives up or something happens to the power uh, and I need to do a return to home and I lose my image. Before you arm your iNav craft and take off, uh, it's really important to make sure you've got a solid GPS lock. And rather than me keep pulling the goggles down to look in the on-screen display to see whether that's happened, it's just easy for me to kind of plug the model in, put it down on the grass, and then uh, have the radio in my hand while setting up the rest of the flight. And then the radio can announce to me when the 3D lock has happened and when the home position has been stored. And all that information is given to you on the radio automatically. Now, for those of you that are interested in this kind of stuff, I've also done another video for ArduPlane. ArduPilot also has another script like this that you can install on things like the FreeSky, uh, Jumper, and Hobby Porter radios, anything that runs OpenTX, really. So long as you've got the telemetry and it's going to run Lua scripts, you can pop it on there as long as it's compatible and get all this great information. And it's just brilliant to be able to plug it all in. And then while you're just walking around, just getting everything sorted out, making sure you're ready for the flight, uh, you're kind of being told by the radio how all the status is. And the other thing I quite like is rather than have the flight modes being announced on the radio by selecting a special function to play a, a file, if you have the Lua scripts installed either for Ardu Pilot or this one for iNav, as you flick the switch to change the mode, the telemetry information coming back down from the model actually reads the mode out on the radio. And that absolutely confirms that what you're hearing is what the model is running. So this is really, really simple and easy to set up. I've set it up with smart port telemetry, and I've also got it running here with the TBS Crossfire telemetry over CRSF. So in this video, let me go through how to set it up. It's dead simple. It's all covered in the instructions, but hopefully this will, uh, but hopefully by going through this, it'll help those of you that are maybe a little bit uh, worried about setting it up, have a go. Now, before you get too far into stuff, it's always worthwhile reading the release notes. So I'll put this link in the description below so that you can have a look. But let me just quickly run through some of the stuff here. So I'm going to be running version 1.7.2 that's going to run on smart port, D series uh, F port, because that also sends telemetry back and excitingly TBS crossfire, which is what I'm using here. There's some views of how it looks on the radios. So it's going to run on FR Sky radios or compatible radios with the radar attitude, pilot view, classic view. And you can change those in how the Lua script actually works. So if you are an FR Sky uh, person, you have the XR9 or D series or Crossfire, this is going to work. You're going to need OpenTX 2.2.2 or later and you're going to make sure that all your firmware is pretty up to date. Do make sure you come in here and read this stuff before you go and start this process. It'll just save you a lot of heartache later on. Now in here is also the links to the Lua Wiki, the download, the latest release notes, and the installation instructions. And I'll go through this and show you how to set it all up. So the first thing to do is go on to the latest release scroll down to the bottom and download the latest release for the particular radio that you're interested in. The Lua script is set for a particular display resolution on a particular radio, so make sure that you're choosing the right one for the radio or version that you have. I'm going to download the Lua telemetry Taranus EN-ZIP. 
because that's the English version. It's an awful lot smaller. The other versions have lots of other language support, but are a little bit bigger. Download that zip file and keep it somewhere safe. We're going to need to copy that onto the SD card in the scripts telemetry directory so that we can access it and set it up. In terms of the installation, it's going to be pretty straightforward. And let me run through this. You can change the way, as you can see here, how some things are shown. Uh, but when you're first setting it, I'd just leave everything default, make sure it's all working. Then you can start to play. Now in iNav, we need to make sure that we're getting telemetry sent back to the radio. There's a good chance you've probably already set this up if you already built it. So this is looking at my brain dart plane that I've just built. And if you go into ports, you'll see that there's a telemetry option. Now, if you're going to be using something that has a discrete telemetry connection, something like smart, uh, at the FR Sky smart port or something like that, then it's probably going to be set up in here. However, if you're using something like F port or CRSF, uh, the TBS crossfire setting in here, then you don't have to set that up. That is already a bi-directional connection down to the radio that's going to be sending telemetry. The only thing you do have to do is make sure you've turned on telemetry output here in the iNav configuration screen in order for it to be sent back to the radio. So on the radio, just go into the menu just to make sure you can see the telemetry coming down. Page across until you get to the telemetry page and make sure that you can see all the sensors. There should be about 21. If you can't see them all, then make sure you click on discover sensors. Now I've had issues here where if I've gone from an old version or maybe it was a free sky radio before and I've gone to something like TBS Crossfire, discovering the new sensors overloads everything. You're only allowed up to 32 sensors. In that case, just unplug everything, come in here and delete all the sensors and then rediscover them and you should find that everything's working. If you can see all those sensors, then you're in good shape. Next thing you need to do then is to copy the contents of that zip file that you've downloaded onto your SD card. So take the SD card out the radio, pop it into your computer. And here in the top left is the SD card that uh, we need to put everything onto. I've already copied it across, but let me show you how it works. Here's the zip file. There's a scripts telemetry iNav folder in here. So these are the things that we need to copy. So we need to find the scripts directory in the SD card, go and find the telemetry directory, and then this is where it needs to be. Now I've already copied it. There's the iNav directory with the two iNav folders. Now we do need to make sure that you have Lua support on your radio turned on for this to work. I'd recommend having Lua C. So in that case, go and copy the three things, the directory and the two Lua scripts, and paste them into the scripts telemetry directory onto your SD card. Once that's done, eject the SD card and plug it back into your radio. So with SD card back in the radio, we need to set it up so that the script can be accessed when everything is running. So go into the display part of the radio and then select screen one to whichever you want. I would go for screen one, set it up to be script and then select the script as iNav. Now, again, you can have loads of different things to show you different telemetry, but the just simple way to do it is just select iNav and have it like this. And then long pressing the page button will take you into the iNav script. It will just run it when it starts up. And here you can see the plane is moving okay. We've got information about the GPS lock, the capacity, the battery voltage, the height, the range, everything is all in here. And again, if you press the menu button, you can access all of the different settings within the Lua script. So you can change how the battery information is shown, and you can also change the different screen that you want. Again, I prefer the pilot screen on my particular radio. So that's the process. That's how it all works. It's really straightforward. If you haven't had a go at this already, you run iNav and you've have wired up your flight controller to send back F port, smart port, or telemetry over something like CRSF, then it's a relatively straightforward thing to do. Again, all you have to do is make sure you have your telemetry coming back, that you have the telemetry stuff turned on inside iNav. Make sure that you can see all the sensors on the radio. Keep in mind that problem that you can occasionally bump into. 
on the trons that I have here, maximum of 32 sensors. So it might be worthwhile you, if you get errors saying it's run out of sensor slots, just stop everything, delete all the sensors and then rediscover them and you'll probably find you'll be okay. Once you can see the sensors are all being discovered, then go and download the Lua script, copy it onto the SD card, configure it as one of the telemetry screens, and then when you fire the radio up, you'll hear the telemetry kick into life and you'll be able to monitor the flight from the radio. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.